Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest. That I may preach with humility and with love, from the heart, not just with the lips. That people listen to your word, not just with their heads, but with their hearts, not just with their ears, but with love. Come Holy Spirit. Amen, Lord. Amen. Dear brothers, um, happy to welcome Father Don Don de Guzman, one who read the gospel, ordained last February. Father Don Don is from the Gupan and he's assigned to Japan. So from Dapan to Japan. Our gift to the world, gifted to give. Taman Tama po today is Phil Mission Sunday. Phil missionaries, Filipino missionaries. We honor and thank the Lord for these people who leave home, country, and family, braving deprivation, loneliness, and even persecutions that the heart of Jesus lived in the hearts of all. So sila po ang ating gift to the world. Of course, we have our OFWs and all families, Filipino missionaries all over the world. Filipino families are also missionaries, sharing our faith. So, sabi ni Father Don Don, kasi maulan. Nako, Father, sabi niya, sa dagupan ngayon, ang dami na namang nakawalang bunuan bangus, yung pinakamasarap na bangus. Sa buong Pilipinas, walang ko kontra dagupan, pangasinan po yun. <laughs> so, it's been raining. Raining and raining for how many days? And maybe many of us are praying, rain, rain, go away. Yes. But this Sunday's gospel is all about generosity. Generosity for sharing our missionaries. Even in prayer. Marami sa atin nagdadasana, wala na yung rain na yan kasi may lakad ako, mayroon kaming handaan, etc., etc. Don't you realize that we need for the rains to stop, we pray, because there are people who are suffering. Ang dami pong pag yan ang ulan, kinakabahan, baka pumasok yung tubig na. Ang dami po sa Mindoro ang so what I'm saying is this, let us be generous even in our prayers. Maari po kasi dasal lang na, dasal tayo, sarili lang natin. God is happy if you are generous with your prayers. Intercessory. Hindi lang kasi yung pinagdadasal mo lahat, sarili mo, <laughs> Anak mo, apo mo, hanggang ganun lang. It's all about me. It's all about me again and my family. Hindi po. See, the Lord is teaching us generosity. Paalaala lang po ha. Marami po kasi, I'm sure, uh, parang nadidepress ka na after three, five days of gloomy skies. Please remember this. Wala pong bagyo na nagtatagal. Wala pong forever na bagyo. Pati sa buhay natin. Lahat ng bagyo, dumadaan lang yan. It's just passing. Kaya inuulit po natin, kung may pinagdadaanan ka, kapatid, daanan mo lang. Kaya nga pinagdadaanan yan eh. Problema sa'yo, umistambay ka na. No. It will pass. And the Lord has told us, I am with you even in the storm. I am there. And no storm lasts forever. It's all passing. At mga kapatid, please remember this. Uh, many times, kung nakafocus lang tayo sa sarili natin, nakakalimutan natin yung mga nasa tabi natin na mas mabigat ang pinagdadaanan po. So, today, wow, the feeding of the 5,000, 
Nung panahon namin, may, doon na uso yung give me five. Give me five, man. Ano man? Five high? High five? High five. Siguro dito nagsimula yun kay Jesus. <laughs> give me five barley loaves. Ayun. Ngayon dahil sa give me five na yan, nagkaroon ng miracle of the feeding of five thousand. Iniisip ko lang po, ano yung magaling yung mga disciples ni Jesus? Eto, meron na silang situation. Paano yan? Paano natin mapapakain? Sabi ni Philip, siya yung manager eh. 5,000 yan. Kahit 200 days wages worth of food would not be enough for each to have even a little. Philip was the manager. Data eh. Oh, paano? Klaro. Computer na niya. Wala. Imposible. But, tignan nyo. There was another disciple, Andrew. Andrew saw something. He saw someone. Uh, Lord, mayroong bata po dito. A little boy was five barley loaves and two fish. But, what good are these for so many? Gusto ko lang pong i-take note natin. Andrew, data, he saw everything from his mind. You know, corporate siguro siya. Great. But he saw everything from here. But Philip saw something else. He saw with the heart. He saw a little boy. Ito po ang tendency kasi natin. Panay tayo mga data, lahat, managers. Fine, okay po yan. But don't forget, you can also see with the heart. Do not belittle matters of the heart. Tignan nyo, what worked in the end? Yung suggestion niya na, to may malit na bata. The little boy. Si may iba po sa kayabangan, ah, wala yung mga yan, wala. Dapat big time mga solution lahat. It's the little things that add up to big things. There was a book before, um, The Little Prince. What is essential is invisible to the eye. For it is only with the heart that one sees rightly. Please don't forget to see the heart. And the heart speaks about generosity. Yung little boy na yun, I'm curious. <laughs> we don't know. We don't even have the name. But he made the miracle happen. Nakalimutan na siya. Anonymous. Iniisip ko nga, ano kaya, baka nung pagkatapos ng miracle ay naging bakery magnate na siya. Nagpatay siya ng bakery. Well, maring ganun, may nangyari. Or fish dealer. Anything could have happened, but there's nothing said about him after that. He just faded away. This is one lesson for all of us, mga kapatid. To give without counting the cost. At paano kaya sinabihan yung bata? All it says here is interesting. Was it? So Jesus took the loaves gave thanks and distributed them to those who were reclining. Interesting. Ano kaya sinabi sa bata? That, sige, ang hirap kaya yung i-give up mo? Eh, sa dami ng tao kung ilang araw pa dito, eh, tatago ko na ito. But the boy said, okay. So the miracle happened. Ito po siguro magandang paalaala rin sa atin, mga kapatid. Today, a lot of good things happen to you and to me because of the little boys, the little people who help make it happen. Please be grateful. Find time today to pray for them, say thank you to them. For example, those who served you. 
Naalala ko pa yung nag-alaga sa amin nung bata pa kami. Si Manang Lita. She's still alive. I'm so filled with gratitude. You know, the drivers, all the little ones, you are where you are now because a lot of people opened the door for you. The doormen. Sila nagbukas ng pinto eh. Kaya nandiyan ka na ngayon. The Lord is teaching us also to be grateful. And please don't forget, when we do good things, hindi na kailangan magpa-staring. Kaya mga iba, oh, magbibigay, oh, picture ah, picture, picture. Ayan, picture muna. O oh, kaya yung magbibigay ng koleksyon, mayroon pang mga... Uh, mayroon kwento nga po eh, pagdating ng collection, tumayo yung isa, <coughs> sandali lang sabi. He stood up and he took out his wallet slowly and everybody was looking, siyempre. Tapos nilabas niya 500, pero nung binaba niya yung 500, dahan-dahan. <coughs> Naku, napakabagal, the slowest 500 pesos going down to a collection basket. Oh, sabi ng mga tao, wow, 500. Sabi nga rin ng pare, wow, 500. Just go, you know, he did a good deed, but he had a hidden agenda to be praised by all. Yes, be anonymous. Just be grateful that you have a chance to help other people. The little ones, please pray for them. And today, Let's all take time to say, Oh nga, no, Lord, dami mga nakatulong sa akin. If you have time, please, thank them. Thank them. Those around you right now, please thank them now. And uh, one thing too, na naalakita natin sa istorya ngayong gospel, yung Jesus knew how to leave the crowd. He would go to a quiet place, leave the crowd. Lahat po tayo, we have to learn to say, no, I'm with my God now. I, ang hirap kasi mga iba, pana yung public opinion ang iniisip mo? Anong sasabi nila? Ano ng rating ko? Anong, hello? The crowd can be very cruel. Wala yan. They're here today, they're gone tomorrow. Crowd eh. Don't forget the little ones. And don't live according to what the crowd will say. Jesus, they were going to make him king. He said, no. That's not the agenda of God. Siyempre, very tempting yun, no? But I came to do the will of my Father. Mga kapatid, more and more, I realize. <laughs> oh, by the way, today is the day for the elderly and the grandparents. Pope Francis declared it. Remember, we called him Lolo Isko when he was here, and he remembers that. Sa, uh, sa Vatican daw, pagka may mga hinagdadaan siya, tapos may sisiya, Lolo, Lolo Isko, oh, Philippine, Philippine. Ganun siya, alam niya. Nag-register sa kanya. We honor them in a special way today. And as we grow older, you have to learn to distance na from the crowd. Kumbaga sa kwan eh, leave the center stage. Give way. Ang problema ng marami, sa family, yung, yung elder, ayo umalis sa gitna. Siya pa rin gusto yung staring. Hello, hindi makapasok yung iba kasi nandiyan ka pa rin, nakabalandra ka. They never have a chance to shine your children, your Grandchildren, kasi it's all about you pa rin eh. Isn't it also about generosity when you say, oh, kayo na, kayo na, it's your turn. This is something very important. Even among us priests, the letting go and the letting God. You know, more and more I believe that we should allow things to unfold. Just to let be. Because you know why? God is in control. Eh? The more we manage things, minsan, the more we manage people, lalong nagugulo eh. Pinapakialaman natin eh. The first thing we should do is, Lord, you're here. 
you're in control of everything and everyone. I'm just listening for your instructions. Mas maganda po kaysa yung right away, dapat gawin to, gawin yan. Ay, I don't know. Kasi ba, kanya-kanyang personality siguro, but tignan, yung kwan. I'm sure yung pinapaupo ni Jesus yung mga tao, marami nakikialam. Oh, mayroong mga ayaw umupo, ayaw. <laughs> but if we only just obeyed, a lot of things would just fall into place. And please remember this. In the silence, in the humility, things fall into place. Please learn that. That's part of our leaving the crowd. Okay na, kayo na yan. I'm more now focused on what God wants me to do, wants me to, to hear. So dear friends, please remember this. Marami sa crowd ay shallow and narrow. Mababaw at makitid ang pagtingin. Please don't be one of the crowd. Don't join the crowd. Ang simo yan, pagka may thread-thread, ang dami na, parang what for? Lalo na kung naninira lang, payabangan lang. Let go, let the crowd be. I listen to God. You are sick, listen to God. Don't listen to so many, ang daming kwan. You're going through any persecution, you listen to the Lord. You're going through pain. Somebody died. Ang dami kang mga, kung ano-ano mga lumalabas na mga worries. You listen to God. This is the secret of the Lord's peaceful and serene life. As long as you're listening to God, you'll be okay. So mga kapatid, we'll pray. Now, we don't become the, like the crowd. Alam po nyo, marami sa crowd, dalawa lang eh. One for the money, two for the show. Yun lang. Are you living a life na it's all one for the money, two for the show? What are we? All about money and all about image? Ang babaw, shallow and narrow. We were meant we are meant for deeper things. Go back to your heart. Be real. So, mga kapatid, sana po, pagharap natin kay Lord at the end of our lives, we will not hear ano yung pinakamalungkot na madidinig mo pagharap mo kay Lord. Yung sabihin niya, sinayang mo. You wasted it. You wasted it all for yourself. Ang buhay mo naging one for the money lang, one for the show. You wasted it. All the talents I've given you, lahat, it was all about you. Ito po, let's start again going back to generosity. Oh, little things like even Mother Nature, Mga ibon. <laughs> this time, I know, huh? well, uh, community pantry that's very good. And in my room, my, a lot of birds, naglagay din ako ng community pantry nila. Nilalagyan ko lang ng mga bigas-bigas. Because it's this kind of attitude. So today, also assignment, ha? pakitignan nyo yung mga cabinet nyo, mga damit dyan, yung naginagamit, mga dilata, ang dami. Oh, palagi mong sinasabi yung damit na yan. Isusuot ko yan kung papayat na ako. Yan, yan, oo. Oh, oh. Diyos ko, sinabi mo na yan last year. Baka hindi ka napapayat. Pamigay mo na kaya. What I'm saying is, hey, God has been so generous. Let go and let God. So, by the way, for us, mga... Uh, especially those involved in distribution. Sabi ko sana yung, yung si Jesus sa kayong disciples, nandito pa ngayon para silang mag-manage ng distribution of relief goods, mga ayuda, 
Mga kung ano-ano dyan, maganda eh. Nakakarating, mabilis, effective, walang kickback, walang photo ops, at may sobra pa. Pag dito, kung vaccination, kung ano na, hindi, ano ba nangyayari? Bakit? Parang di naman nakakarating. Jesus, we need you this time. But Jesus is with us, but He needs people, especially in government, to carry out that whole program of being generous, especially to the little ones. Okay, grandparents, lolos, lolas, it's your day. Thank you po sa... We'd like to appreciate you. Maraming salamat po. At kayo po who are given the chance to take care of your parents, mga lolo, lolo. Blessed are you. Mahira po yan. Pero it's a privilege. It's a big privilege po. Ang hira, marami pong sabi, Father, talagang wala namang tutulong na. Blessed are you. God will not forget your goodness, no matter what happens. Ah, by the way, for us growing old, uh, I like to share with you. Di ba yung glass? Glass na may tubig na kalahate. So the first one says, the optimist, uh, the pessimist says, Ay, the glass is half empty. Ay, kalahati na. The optimist says, oh, the glass is half full. Kalahati pa. Depende yan sa pananaw. Pero mayroon din magaling dagdag. Yung hopeful says, the glass is refillable. Pwede pang ma-refill pala yan. Oh, ganda ng attitude na yan. At mayroon pa isa. Yung grateful, sabi niya, at least I have a glass. Yun. So, nasa pananaw po. At old age natin, <laughs> ano ka? Pessimist ka na? Optimist? Hopeful or grateful. It's your choice. And please, mga kapwa senior citizens, I keep saying this, don't play the game of ice. Ano po yun? If you play the game of ice, number one, impositions. Marami ka pa rin impositions sa mga tao. I want this, I want that. People around you will not be happy. Kabado sila. Pati ikaw, you'll not be happy. Kasi marami kang i-impose na hindi nila masusunod. See the game of control. Ang dami ka pang kinokontrol. Gusto mo itong mangyari. Pati love life, mga kurso ng mga pinapakialam ang lahat. Father, I mean well for them. I mean well. Yeah, mean people end up mean. Mas marami kang nasasaktan. Careful. And E, ito, expectations. Yung ginawa ko, dapat iparamdam din nyo. I did this, you must do that. Ang hirap yung expectations kasi you'll not be happy kung hindi nila magawa yung gusto, niyo, gusto mo. Buti pa, wala ka nalang expectations. You'll be more free. Ah, I mean, all of us play that game but huwag po yan magiging game na natin at this age. You know, kasi if you play the game of ice, what happens? You become frozen. And people around you are frozen. So, anong remedyo ng frozen? Anong sabi ng movie? Ano yung song? Let it go. 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 Speaking words of wisdom, <laughs> let it go. Ayun, ang isang bagay. Humor, joy through it all. And one more thing po, tayo naman, o oh, hindi, sila naman yung mga basbata. <laughs> what is our attitude towards the elderly? Dapat hot tayo sa kanila. Hot tayo. H-O-T. Number one, you should be humble to them. Hindi pwedeng pagyabangan mo yung mga nakakatanda sa iyo. That's the worst things you can do. The fourth commandment, honor your father and your mother. 
is the only commandment that has with it a blessing clause. If you honor your father and your mother, you will be blessed with a long life, and etc., etc. Take note of that. I remember a story in China or in the olden days, pag matanda na yung tatay, nanay, it is the duty of the eldest to carry that tatay sa deep forest. Bubuhati niya at iiwanan na doon para mamatay. Well, that's how they did it then. But there's a story nung yung binubuhat niya yung tatay niya, alam niyo yung tatay, pinupunit-punit niya yung damit niya. Umakit na sila. Sabi ng anak, tay, bakit po niyo pinupunit yung mga damit niyo? Anak, mamaya, pag iniwanan mo na ako, uwi ka na, madilim na, mag-isa ka na, baka mawala ka, kaya nag-iiwan ako ng mga markers para makauwi ka safely sa bahay. Yan ang pagmamahal ng mga magulang. So, please be humble to them. Oh, obey obedience to our elders and T, thank them. Thank and be grateful to them. So mga kapatid, today, let us also remember our retired priests and brothers. We have here in the VCR, Villa Cristo Rey, that's the Hall of Fame. God, you'd never know what these missionaries have gone through. Yung tumanggap sa akin po nung ako'y 12 years old pumasok sa seminaryo, 1966, Si Father Mike Padua, siya yung aming prefect, nandiyan pa, 90 plus years old. Saludo po. Well, this mass, many times, we've been coming out with your help for them financially kasi kulang po, mahira po i-maintain. It's one of the biggest cost centers. But thank you for all of you who have been helping. And many of you have been helping so generously and so anonymously. Maraming salamat po. Well, I just remember one time, uh, mayroon po kang young priest. Kwinento to ni Father Pius de Pasaga. A young priest went to hear confession sa isang retired priest dyan. <laughs> so, ang dami niyang sinasabi, oh, Father, you know, I am, oh, who are you? Father, I am, uh, ang dami na. Oh, Father, you know, and, uh, I, ganun siya ng ganun. <laughs> Sabi ng matandang pare, Something wrong with your chest? <laughs> These people continue to be witnesses of joy, generous, anonymous, loving service to the Lord and the Master. Sana, sana tayo rin. Sana all. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Mama Mary for showing us what true giving and true generosity is all about.